<laughs> Wait, hold on. <gasps> hold on. <laughs> and it's not even done yet. It's not even done yet. Thank you for tuning back into my channel so today as you can tell by this title I am going to be doing a full face I'm gonna show you how I got this entire look I also used some new products um it was it was okay but it could have been better but like to be honest with you I think it came out good like it came out good it came out great it came out great <laughs> if this is your first time at my channel welcome thank you for tuning in it's all love and all positivity over here don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and like this video and follow me on all of my social medias at that queen beck t-h-a-t-q-u-e-e-n-b-e-c-c -E -E that's on instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok because you know we flourishing over there yes we are i'm speaking it into the world we're gonna flourish and we just gonna be the baddest because we deserve to be the baddest because we are the baddest Ever did it. Period. Duh. Anyway, let me stop talking and let's get right into this video. Okay, so let's get started. My face is already prepped and primed. Well, it's not primed. I already did like my skincare routine, my waist, my, my waist, my face is washed, moisturized, all of that. I am going to start off first with my eyebrows. I use the this NYX brow gel. I have like 500 different spoolies. This is an old spoolie, but I'm going to use this. Angled brush, it's not focusing, it's not focusing. Focus, focus, focus. An angled brush with a spoolie. This is kind of dirty, but who cares? Normally, I do my brows off camera, but hell. I'll show you guys how I do my eyebrows today. The way I do my brows, I squeeze out some. Oh, that's kind of too much, but I squeeze them out. And then I lay it on the tube. And then I just get like a generous amount onto the brush. Like so. Just a generous amount. And then I go to work. I know most people, they start from the bottom, but I do the top first. It's just a force of habit. Ever since I started doing my eyebrows, I just do the top because one time I got my eyebrows waxed and they like fucked up my brows. So I do the top first so I can like create my own arc, arch, arc, arc, arch, whatever it's called. And then I just go on the bottom, fill it out, and then I make it bigger if need be. Depends if I want like a, a thin eyebrow or like a, a like a thick thin eyebrow if you get what I'm trying to say. Just want to make sure I fill in any gaps and brush through. Just like so. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good eyebrow. My brows always take me the longest, but in the end, I promise you, let your brows take you like 30 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever. It doesn't matter. Your brows is, are literally the most important part of your whole makeup routine. If your brows look stupid, your whole makeup is going to look stupid. So i rather take the extra 10, 20, 30 minutes to make sure my brows look perfect. Because if my brows are perfect and my eyeshadow's fucked up, who cares? I'm still gonna look cute. If my brows are good and my lashes aren't, well, my lashes have to be on good. But like, you get what I'm saying? As long as your eyebrows are done good, perfect, your whole makeup is gonna look perfect. To carve out my eyebrows, I actually have a new product. I am trying the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer up to 24 hours wear. Oh my god, excuse my nails. Honestly, I tried to do my nails and 
I kind of did them wrong and now I don't like it so I've been like biting them to like take it off but I need to like properly soak them off just don't mind my nails don't look at that don't don't look at that and to carve out my brows I use this brush to blend out the concealer. This concealer is really, I like it. I really do like the concealer so far. It's, it's good, nice coverage, everything. But I'm gonna have to use less of it. I think I put too much. And I, and I honestly thought that I put a little bit, but I, I put too much. Oh my god, I forgot to do my edges. Now the reason why I do my edges, well the reason why I like to do my edges before I start my makeup is because when I'm doing my makeup, obviously, you wanna make sure you're blending everywhere and I also put some into my hair. So if I were to do my makeup before doing my edges, when it came time to doing my edges and I'm trying to like, you know, soup, you're gonna start to see marks of like makeup and foundation and concealer in it and that's not pretty and I don't really want to do the extra work to go and clean that up. So I just try to do it before I do my makeup. Always keep in mind that your eyebrows are never gonna be completely even, but if they both look good, then they both look good and we're just gonna leave it at that. Period. So now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow. Before I put on my eyeshadow, I like to put concealer all over my lid. My lids are uneven and they're hooded and I just like to put concealer and then set the concealer so I have like a nice even and a smooth base to put on my eyeshadow. And because whenever I do eyeshadow, I like to do eyeshadow looks that go like past my eyebrows kind of. So I make sure to blend in the concealer even over here. Try to get it under my eyes, just a little bit. It never has to be perfect. We're just blending everything out. So the look I'm going for, I'm going to insert a picture right here. It's going to be using these two colors, pink and blue. Um, if you look at my Instagram page, I do a lot of like cut creases where it's literally just, I put like a color or like three colors or whatever, cut crease it and then I have like the middle part empty and then I have eyeliner and maybe put like glitter or shimmer. I'm going to try and do something in that realm because I just really love doing those kind of looks so I'm gonna be using pink and blue so first I'm gonna start off with the makeup plug pressed pigments I'm gonna be using this pink color So to get this, <laughs> basically I use my Morphe M506 brush. I don't really know the terminology, so like I don't know what this part of my eye is, but I just use it to basically carve out that area. 
And now I am going to cut it, cut the crease. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <gasps> hold on. <laughs> and it's not even done yet. It's not even done yet. I'm going to set this concealer the same way I did before I even started the whole, you know, eyeshadow process. I'm making a YouTube video, but you can say hi to everybody. Hi, YouTube! You know, tune in. You know, to her it's YouTube. You know, she got the makeup, she got the wigs, she got the. Alright. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, so now I'm kind of like at a crossroads. I don't know if I should use my water based liner or if I should use black liner and then, you know. Actually, I'm gonna use black liner. Because when it comes to cleaning up all this stuff, it's not easy to clean off the, the water-based liner with a makeup wipe. It just don't do the job. So now I am going to go in with my duo eyelash glue. I'm also going to be using some glitter. This is in the color Winterburst. I was about to say Wildburst. In the color Winterburst, this is from Eye Candy Cosmetics. This glitter in the shade Miami Nights this color I just noticed that I don't have any like a blue glitter that looks like this so I'm just going to mix these two Alright, so my face is one on my face. My eyes are done, and now I'm going to go in with some milk of magnesia, and we're just gonna prime the face. I use the Morphe 224 brush to apply the milk of magnesia all over my face. Well, not all over my face, just like my T-zone, so my chin, my cheeks, my nose, and like my upper forehead. I only started using this, and this is like a lifesaver. Especially if you have oily skin, it helps the foundation to stay matte a lot longer like don't get me wrong if you have oily skin ugh, don't get me wrong if you have oily skin you're still gonna you know you're still gonna get oily and shit but just not as quick and not as fast and not as much this is actually a new foundation I'm trying this for the first time 
NARS foundations. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, I've read a lot of reviews about this foundation and I wanted to try it out. I've been using Too Faced for quite some time actually now. I've been using Too Faced for a while so I was like, it's time to get some new makeup. It's time to try some new ish. So we're gonna see how this one is. I already kind of, um, I did my best to color match it because I did buy this online and when I, you know, did the swatches and stuff, it, it looks good enough. We'll see. I mean, I think it's good. Hopefully. But yeah, let's play. And I use a wet beauty blender. This coverage is looking really nice, I like it. Now I'm gonna use the same concealer that I've been using throughout this whole video to highlight under my eyes. All of the beauty blenders that I'm using, I got them from Morphe. So today, I'm actually gonna try something different. I'm going to put the concealer on my chin. I already put the excess concealer that was on the beauty blender on the bridge of my nose, but I'm gonna put a little bit more, and I'm also gonna put up in my forehead area, just to see, I don't know, because I normally don't do that in my makeup routine, but I don't know, I feel like with this concealer specifically, I might have to. And with the foundation I'm using, because I kind of think this foundation is a little bit too dark, but we'll see. Now I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to set all the places where I put the concealer. Now, I don't really bake, I just, after I put it on, I get my brush and I dust it off. The brush I'm gonna be using is my, oops, it's my Morphe E4 brush. Next, I'm going to contour. I really don't know how to contour. I used to use this to contour, um, and I just like, dabbed it on and I went about my day but I watched a YouTube video and I got a new product and I actually want to try cream contour nice concealer in the darkest color which is dark coffee and we're gonna see how it comes out <laughs> and pray for the best honestly and to blend out the contour I'm using this real techniques expert face brush That looks harsh. I'm 
I'm gonna find a way to make this work. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna find a way to make this work. Like I have to. I, I have no choice. I have to find a way to make this shit work. For blush, I'm using this shade from NARS and the shade Abu Dhabi. For highlight, I am using this new highlighter I bought actually. It's from Revolution Beauty London. And this is in the shade Make, Make an Impact. For lashes, I am going to be using these Bell Beauty Lashes. These are so pretty. This is in the style Milan. <sighs> I have to go downstairs real quick. <sighs> but good. Um, lashes are on, lashes are glued, lashes are dried. Now I'm gonna just take a black eyeliner. This is from NYX. We use any black eyeliner and I'm just going to darken my waterline. I'm gonna try and like, Darken, darken, like I'm gonna do like OD, like I'm gonna, I don't know, but it just, just watch. This is what I mean. So for my lips, I started off with Blistex, need to moisturize my lips, I do that before every single lip application. Then I went in with my brown lip liner. This is from ColourPop in the shade Pitch. I don't think they sell this shade anymore. Then I decided to use this liquid lipstick. This is from L'Oreal and this is in the shade 444, but I didn't like the way this one came out, so I decided to use the same brand, same liquid lipstick, but in a different shade. This is 416. On top of that, I use my MAC lip gloss in the color Snob. And then I just went back in and traced in any imperfections with the lip liner to get it basically the way that I want. And I think that's all for the lips. And this is the final look. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry. I can see it. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really feeling the way this look came out. I'm feeling the lashes. Don't forget to check out Belle Beauty on Instagram. I will have everything linked down below. All of the products that I use linked down below. I want you guys to keep in mind, I know my contour is a little uh, but like, it looks kind of good. Wait, I forgot to, shit, I used it earlier. I can't, uh, I'm gonna use it, whatever. I forgot to blend it all together. But regardless, it looks good. And I'm proud of myself. I haven't done my makeup in dumb long, like in, um, long. so the fact that it came out this good kudos to me anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on your post notifications and like this video and leave a comment down below let me know how you feel about this look let me know any other looks you think i should try out and don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias at that queen beck t-h-a-t-q-u-e-e-n-b-e-c-c -E -E that's on instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok peace and blessings